everybody, how's it going? Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how I'm going to color uh, the children's book I'm working on. So I start out with my rendered sketch, which I do on tan paper. All the highlights are there where I want them. Uh, basically, I have a fully um, rendered drawing here. So, and I want the drawing to look authentic. I don't want it to look artificially colored. I want it to look like maybe colored pencil, um, a pastel -y or something like that. I want it to look like it's hand done. Uh, I don't want to take away from the pencil drawing underneath. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use transparencies. The brush I'm using here is a soft round and it's set to 15% opacity. Uh, now with that opacity, you can still see all the detail of the drawing underneath. It just adds just a slight bit of color. When I'm coloring, I'm trying not to uh, pick up the pen tool. I use a Wacom Cintiq 21UX. And so when I'm filling in an area, I try not to pick up the brush so that there's overlapping transparencies. Uh, it's not a big deal if I do. And later on, I'll take other colors and kind of maybe go over like the green uh, with some purple or some browns. So I do go over my transparencies a little bit, but not too much. Um, so then, after I've kind of gotten all the colors where I want them, I take my dodge tool and I add highlights. So you can see edges of the tree bark and things like that, just to get the, give the drawing more depth. And then, after I do the dodge tool, I go in with my um, burn tool and I do the same thing in the shadows. And this really makes the drawing pop. Uh, and as you can see, once I get done with kind of this, I mean, it's really quick way to color a drawing and make it look really cool. So the reason I decided to color this in Photoshop is because once I get everything, all the colors laid down and everything like that, I can really adjust the atmosphere. And as I finish this up here, you'll see what changing the contrast and the lightness and darkness and adding a little bit of a vignette does. So right now I'm going to transition to the finished drawing. So as you can see, I've made the drawing quite a bit darker and there's a lot of drama now. Um, it feels like a dark kind of scary forest that the little princess is walking into. Uh, I really like how this is turning out. It feels authentic. It feels like something that was made a long time ago. Uh, and it feels like a fairy tale, which is exactly what I'm going for. The feel of the drawing is the most important thing to me in this. And I feel like this is something that uh, I'm going to be pretty proud of when it's finished. This is page three of the storybook. Uh, you guys can watch my previous video if you haven't. This is a storybook I'm writing for my daughter and drawing and illustrating. And um, So yeah, I've got other pages done and probably next Wednesday I'll have a full overview of what I've finished. I just thought it would be a cool thing to show you guys how I'm coloring this thing. I hope you guys liked the video and uh, thanks for watching and if you haven't, subscribe.